I've been a huge film fanatic for a good chunk of my life. One thing I love to do is archive films as they aren't always widely available on home media. I decided to focus this piece on two people who work with film, whether it be as a fan or a professor. In my free time I enjoy uh, restoring various um, laser discs, laser disc films and videos. A lot of the films that I happen to like never quite made the leap uh, from laser disc to DVD or to Blu-ray. So like the highest quality source for certain films I can find is on Laserdisc. For example, Laurie Anderson's Home of the Brave. Great concert film, but never made it to DVD, no matter how many years she's wanted to bring it there. So I had to uh, find the Laserdisc online so I can do my own personal restoration. I hope that some of the original materials and like masters to make films become a bit more available as the film ages, because I feel like Fan restoration and preservation really gives a new life to the film in a lot of good ways, but a lot of giant corporate restoration, restoration in quotes, because a lot of re-releases have been heavily altering the films, like the color composition, uh, removing uh, film grain, but a lot of fans that try to preserve the films have their heart set on preserving the films as they were shown, as intended by the original artist. And I feel like if we have a lot more uh, fan-led restorations or like maybe restorations done by fans but authorized by the original artists, it could bring back a lot of the uh, films that uh, are like hev too heavily altered so people could see how they originally looked. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's the great film hunter's job. We now live in a digital era. Their visual quality, their richness, the, the, the way a film looks on silver nitrate film when it's when it's being projected. Uh, all of those debates are still fascinating. They're still really interesting. But they're becoming less and less relevant in many ways because if we as film exhibitors, archivists, museologists, programmers, if we want um, every generation of moviegoers, new generation, older generation, to see the great films in a theatrical setting, once again in a, in a thousand seat restored theater like the DFT. It may not always be possible what the new really superbly executed digital restorations can do is create the illusion of a perfect 35 millimeter image. In terms of homemade restorations, I see nothing wrong with it for fun and I see nothing wrong with it to, to try and school oneself in how to assemble a film, how to tell a story, perhaps different ways to put that together, but to know what the director intended and to know what the cinematographer intended and all of the people who were making the film, uh, that's a tough thing to decide. And it's, it's up to the people who do these sort of homemade restorations that you're talking about to uh, be responsible when they're, when they're doing it and decide what their goal is. 